hi guys welcome to android guider so as the video title reads in uh, this video we are going to reset uh, the fingerprint data along with the the pattern lock or password or uh, pin lock any secure lock uh, lock screen which you are using we are going to reset all of that um and uh, uh, before I get into this video, I will uh, mention this beforehand that uh, this video is only meant for those of you out there who know what TWRP is, how to use it and uh, you also must have got TWRP installed on your device. In case you aren't familiar with what TWRP is and how to use it, uh, this video isn't meant for you. Okay, uh, so we'll cut to the chase. Um, all you have to do is uh, reboot uh, back into uh, TWRP. Um, well, I will just show you this beforehand. I'm, uh, this is a pattern lock actually I had restore, restored an old TWRP backup and now I have forgotten the pattern lock so yeah that's why I'm doing this video uh, so uh, right away boot up into TWRP I have got a quick setting toggle uh, just to do that I will just increment the brightness yeah uh, so I have got this uh, 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 quick setting toggle uh, you long press this quick setting toggle and you will uh, uh, reboot back into uh, your device will reboot back into TWRP. Uh, you can also use the traditional method of uh, powering off the device and uh, then booting up into recovery mode uh, or you can also use uh, the uh, uh, reboot to recovery option from the advanced reboot menu if uh, the ROM you are using supports that. Um, and uh, yeah there are just a couple of files in there which uh, we are going to delete and uh, after that we would have uh, managed to reset the lock screen along with the fingerprint data okay so uh, by the way this is a TWRP 3.1.1-0 um, but uh, it uh, actually doesn't uh, matter which uh, TWRP version you are using you just have to ensure that uh, the TWRP build you are uh, using that uh, has the functionality of access of uh, accessing the file manager under the advanced menu and also this procedure is uh, generic for any Android version which you are using um, I am currently uh, testing this out on uh, Android Nougat I tried this uh, 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 I also managed to get this to work on Android Lollipop and Marshmallow. So this uh, method should uh, uh, work on uh, uh, Android Oreo which was released recently as well. So I guess this method is generic. Um, so once you are into uh, the advanced menu, uh, go to file manager uh, and then from uh, uh, within the data you have to go to the data partition and uh, this is where we have to delete a couple of files uh, so before we go into the system partition in here uh, into the system directory under the data uh, under the data partition uh, we have got we have to delete most of the files under the system partition but before we go into that uh, make sure uh, that uh, you don't have any folder by the name of validity in case you have got a, a folder uh, or a sub directory in here which goes by the name of validity then you have to open that uh, folder up and there would be a file of by the, which go which is uh, by the name of template.db and you have to delete that file um, I will be showing you on how to delete the files uh, but in case you have got a folder uh, a folder named uh, validity in here you have to delete a file uh, template.db in there uh, uh, but uh, my device doesn't uh, have that and uh, most of the devices which I have used in I have used an Android one device as well and that doesn't have uh, the validity validity directory in here so in case your device has that open up the validity directory and delete the template.db file um, so Okay, I'll just press the back key. Uh, so all you have to do is head over to the system partition and from in here we have to delete a couple of files. Uh, delete the gatekeeper.password.key. So this uh, will reset the password. Delete, swipe to confirm. Uh, tap on the back key and now we have to delete gatekeeper.pattern.key. Tap on delete, swipe to confirm again. Press the back key again. Now we have to delete these three files, log settings.db and the two beneath that. Um, yeah so we have deleted all the files um, and uh, now we have to simply uh, reset uh, the uh, delete the uh, stored fingerprints so for that head over to users uh, the users subdirectory uh, sorry yeah and head over to the uh, zero named folder and from here in we have to delete settings underscore fingerprint.xml just delete this files 
and uh, even when we are deleting these files all these files will be regenerated when we reboot our device so we are done uh, and once again i will repeat it um, if you have got a folder named as validity under the uh, data partition then uh, you have to delete a file uh, named template.db from in there now we will simply reboot uh, the device and you don't need to uh, wipe uh, any cache or dalvik cache partitions and once again as i have mentioned uh, all the files which we had uh, deleted uh, they will be regenerated at the time of reboot and again as as the name states the settings under fingerprint file uh, has your saved fingerprints the gatekeeper dot password dot key that is for uh, resetting the password the gatekeeper dot pattern dot key file that is for uh, 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 that stores the pattern lock of your device and those lock screen dot db files and the two files beneath that they have your uh, general lock screen settings so we have reset all of that um uh yeah so when we when the device finish uh, finishes booting up now um we would be having all that stuff okay and uh, yeah you can also see that uh, the weather and the owner info which were present before that all of the all of them have been deleted as well so uh, the lock dot uh, the lock settings dot db file that is responsible for that uh, for storing all those uh, for general for the entire lock setup yeah so you can see now we were able to successfully uh, uh, unlock the device and uh, it will just take a while for this uh, uh, you know uh, after the first reboot uh, this device takes uh, uh, some time to load up the settings menu uh, and I will just show you guys quickly and when I try to open up the settings menu right now uh, yeah you know it won't actually load up you know it takes some it takes a while to load up the settings menu so we'll just wait I just want to show you guys that uh, all the fingerprints and uh, the the fingerprints as well as the pattern lock has been uh, um, everything has been deleted and well we were actually able to make make out that uh, the lock screen has been reset in the first place because we were simply able simply able to unlock the device with a swipe um yeah and uh, by the way this is resurrection remix 5.8.3 if i can recall correctly uh, this is what that backup was for and yeah there we go uh, so finally the settings menu is in there go down to security and there we go now you can see that the screen lock is set to a swipe and fingerprint we don't have any fingerprint setup you know now when i just uh, you can see that um okay i'll tap on the back key and now when i open up the security menu and then fingerprint you can see that we have to uh, begin with setting up a fingerprint yeah so you're finally able to uh, reset the fingerprint along with the lock screen yeah so uh, this wraps up this uh, tutorial uh, in case you liked it uh, hit that thumbs up button and uh, if you want to ever get a notification in whenever we upload our future videos through this channel uh, then do subscribe to us as well um, our subscribers really help us a lot uh, and thanks to all of you who have uh, subscribed to us so yeah uh, that's it what we have got for this video uh, so thanks for watching guys have a nice day take care and we will catch you guys in the next one stay tuned